Welcome back to Collectability. Everyone is buzzing today about the big Patek Philippe prices that we're seeing at auction. However, like all things collectability, we like looking to the past. So let's look at the retail prices from the past of five very interesting and very important Patek Philippe watches from the 40s through 60s. To begin, this is a reference 2100 in yellow gold. This is a very heavy watch. Look at the exquisite links of this lady's piece that was made in the 1940s for a very lucky lady. Now, she would have to open this hidden hinge to reveal the time. This piece is a bit of sculpture for the wrist, but it's also something that you don't see every day. And for $2,700, it could have been yours back in 1940. Seven. Now, for some price comparisons. Going back to the 1940s, a reference 96, a simple classic Calatrava, would have been $380. Or if you wanted to spend a bit more, for the grand price of $410, you could have bought a reference 425. And if you were from the sportier set and wanted a Patek Philippe water resistant chronograph in steel, you could have bought a 1463A for the amazing price of $440. But there's always someone that has a bit more money and for them, they'd want to jump up to a reference 1518, the ultimate perpetual chronograph. And this was $1,500 at the time. But it's fun to think that for twice the price of a 1518, you could have bought this reference 21. As we dig into these amazing pieces from the mid 20th century, we realize the price points were as extraordinary as the watches. Take, for example, this beautiful Gilbert Albert style Patek Philippe bangle bracelet watch. It hinges open to reveal the dial. And this is once again, a very weighty watch. You know when it's on your wrist and it was a statement piece. Now back to extraordinary price points. Imagine walking into a Patek Philippe boutique in the late 1950s. You might want to buy something quite special and the 2523 is right there in front of you. And for $2,000, it's yours. Side note, that watch today with the cloisonne enamel dial is worth over $10 million. But going back in time again, you walk into that store and you wanna buy something extraordinary for the lucky lady in your life. $2,000 for a world time might not do the trick, but the salesperson offers you something for the extraordinary price of $7,000 US. That's about the price of two houses at the time. So that salesperson presents to you this box and opens up and shows you the one and only star of Caracas. This beautiful diamond set bracelet watch is exquisite. You can see the round cut diamonds and the center part of the bracelet set with those uh, emerald cuts and the star hinges open to reveal the Patek Philippe dial. Now this sets you back a pretty penny during that era, but it shows how Patek Philippe focused the high end of their production for their most important clientele, women. And these watches were the stars of every Basel show at the time. These were the obsession of the watch community, the most beautiful bracelet watches ever made, and the prices were equally impressive. Now, Patek Philippe in 1955 hired the rising star of the designer world, Mr. Gilbert Albert. He was only 24 at the time. And I think they got more than they bargained for because Mr. Albert was obsessed with platinum. He was obsessed with diamonds. He was obsessed and influenced by organic design. And each of his watches was a masterpiece. So going back to our price comparison, we're right now circa 1960. And you could have bought that amazing world time cloisonne enamel dial for $2,000. You could have bought the Star of Caracas for $7,000. But if you were lucky enough 
to have $25,000. This is the watch that you would buy. Here we have one of the masterpieces from mid-century Patek Philippe design. This is Gilbert Albert's unbelievably beautiful cocktail watch, which I need a forklift to lift it out of this box. It is unbelievably heavy. 45 carats of diamonds, platinum. This has 127 baguettes. It also has 67 round cuts and it hinges open and you can see the beautiful Patek Philippe dial. Now look at the condition of this piece. Whoever bought this originally for $25,000 in the early 1960s, they truly knew they had a masterpiece and cared for it. And it's preserved today in untouched, perfect condition. And I want to thank the owners of this watch, the Keystone, for loaning this to Collectability to present to you. It is available on thekeystone.com and you should run, don't walk, to acquire this piece from the Keystone. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to own one of the most unique, most important, and most expensive Patek Philippe watches from that era. And I want you to think about it. $25,000 circa 1960. You could have bought at that point 10 cars, three houses, or if you were really thinking about Patek Philippe obsessively, 10 reference 2523 Cloisonne Enamel World Times. The pieces that were made for women were the most expensive, the most lavish, and the most beautiful from this particular era in history. And I think the prices underline that fact. But for the men, there was also some incredible pieces. In thinking of the 1960s, there's only one reference that I have always wanted to own. And finally, Collectability has one of my favorite references from the era, a reference 34 97 in white gold. Look at this watch. Nicknamed the bow tie because of the, the shape of the dial itself. And you'll see it's set on each side as a total of 30 diamonds, which is quite humble compared to the diamond count that we saw with some of those ladies pieces. And this was meant to be a watch that could be discreetly worn on a gentleman's wrist, martini in hand, and it was and still is one of the most exquisite pieces from that era. Look at the mesh bracelet and the construction of the case. I mean, this literally has Gilbert Albert's fingerprints all over it. The aesthetic of the 3497 is something I've always loved, and I am so happy to finally own one of these timepieces. So, you might ask, how much was this watch in the early 1960s? This was yours for $1,900. So relative to some of the ladies' timepieces, this piece was a complete and incredible bargain. So I think we could appreciate Gilbert Albert and give him even more credit for the designs that he gave not only the ladies, but also men during this time period. And when we look at the price points, I think we could come to appreciate that uh, the prices we see at auction might not have a direct correlation with the prices these watches sold for originally. And it's this dislocation and price point that makes collecting so much fun. Go forward in time, five years, 10 years, or 50 years into the future, and you're gonna see trends that are unimaginable today. And some of the pieces before me may once again be some of the most expensive Patek Philippe watches ever made. Thank you so much for joining us today on Collectability. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe on Instagram, YouTube, and also TikTok. And until next time, enjoy the hunt.